And let me say this, the politics of that, what is being robbed by them not doing that, Joe, where you and I agree, how do the Democrats, how do all of us on that side say January 6th was wrong if you can have the same pitches going on on college campus? Good Lord, don't make you a parallel with January 6th. You lose the moral high ground. That has happened, though. Okay. That- <laughs> yes, Al Sharpton, yes. How can you say January 6th was wrong when you let all these college campuses do this? Yes, good question. <laughs> What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride chair extraordinaire, your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. That's right. Thank you. You guys you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. Poor favor. <laughs> Come on, let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Yeah! Okay, okay. Party people, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. Yes, sir. So, Al Sharpton asks a very important question. How do you say January 6th was wrong when you let these college campuses run amok? Now, we've been saying this for a long time. All these protesters, these pro Hamas folks, they're the same folks that was here 5, 10, 20 years ago. They're the Black Lives Matter. No! The Trantifa. The Code Pink. Every feminist you could think of. Every feminist you could think of. And the girly boys. Mm. Yeah. These are the ones that's terrorizing these college campuses right now. How can you compare January 6th? You had a whole summer of love with, uh, uh, burning down Capitol buildings, rioting in the streets, killing cops. Uh, I think over 30 people died in the summer of love of 2020. Um, we had sexual allegations of these folks, countless of crimes, countless of crimes. And you compare this to January 6th. Look at here. Look at what January 6th was doing. Yeah, you see these folks walking by with the cops standing right there, and you're talking about these are women who were terrorists. There are some people right now still in jail. Some of them went to prison over January 6th, right? We have the Biden administration, Kamala Harris, are saying that January 6th was the biggest thing that ever happened in America. Not only a place on our calendars, but a place in our collective memory. December 7th, 1941, September 11th, 2001, and January 6th, 2021. But meanwhile, we have all these college kids running around here, all these rich kids, all these privileged kids running around talking about free Hamas, what? Come on, folks. Taking a look around the encampment after police have gone through here and forced the pro-Palestinian demonstrators out. CHP tells me a hundred people were taken into custody during this operation. It took about three hours. What a mess. So that's the scene of an encampment of these uh, tree huggers, the people that keep telling us to save the planet. And you cannot drink out of plastic straws. Look how they left the encampment. Trash everywhere. The optics is looking bad for the Democrats. It is so bad that even Joe Scarborough, even Joe Scarborough had to acknowledge this. But I can tell you the riots on college campuses, mm-hmm. can, the riots at the Chicago Convention in 68, Um, All of those things moved my family from being Democrats their entire life to being Republicans. 
I remember I was young and I remember my parents asking what in the world is going on in this country and of course you know they were raised in the Great Depression in rural Georgia kind of hard for them to hear rich kids on campus of Harvard or taking over uh, campuses of Columbia. But if you're offended by this, please, I'm trying to help you. I don't want Donald Trump to get elected, all right? There you go. I'm trying to help you. If you're too stupid to figure that out, you change to another channel. Because we're sorting through this as a country, and this is not helping. Joe Scarborough, he sees that this optic is going to turn a lot of people away from the Democrat Party, as it should. As it should. Now, even Mayor Adams, he had to say something very important about you knuckleheads going around taking down American flag to post up the Palestinian flag. Are you stupid? That's our flag, folks. Go we'll take over our buildings and put another flag up. That may be fine to other people, but it's not to me. My uncle died defending this country. And these men and women put their lives on the line. And it's despicable that schools will allow another country flag to fly in our country. So blame me for being proud to be an American. And I thank Commissioner Daughtry for putting that flag back up. We're not surrendering our way of life to anyone. The nonsense carried over to University of North Carolina and they were trying to take down an American flag and put up a Palestinian flag. And shout out to the Pi Kappa Phi who went out and stood on business. They said, hell no. They fought against the anti-Israel uh, folks, the pro-Hamas folks. They stood on business, put the American flag up, and sang the national anthem. Go. Yeah. You see what the frat brothers did? How many of you, uh, you folks would have did that same thing? It's so easy to say that you hate your country. We see a lot of these kids, these privileged kids who left their house, went to college, and they think they know it all. And I see, I believe that, you know, some of them are seniors. They're about to hit the real world soon. After this summer, you're going to become a real adult. And you're going to really see all seeing some real bullshit. But now you in school, you're in college. This is your last year. This is your last year of no responsibility. Your mom and daddy paying for college. As soon as you get your, your degree, as soon as you get your diploma and walk out of here, we got something for you, buddy. Life is going to be sitting right there waiting for you. And then we're going to see if you're going to start still walking around talking about free Hamas and Anytime what you are protesting for right. becomes secondary to what you are doing, then you're really not protesting for it. And 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 you, in many ways, dramatize what we did in Vieques, what I did later in, <clears throat> in other situations, was to bring attention yeah. to a cause, not become the cause. Right. And what is troubling me about a lot of this is they become the cause. It's about them. It is not about pushing the cause. They need to ask themselves if they were sincere. Right. Are you really focusing on what's going on in Gaza, about the children, about the women, about the innocent people, and in Israel, are you focusing on whether or not you are violent or whether or not uh, you can say the most incendiary statement? How are you guiding this? It's about them. And I think right. that they've lost the message. And I think that's because they've been infiltrated by people that are not there. That for is what I'm worried about. You know, it's bad when you have Al Sharpton, the Reverend Al Sharpton. He's questioning the optics. Uh, 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 pretty bad. <laughs> anyway, before we go, we have a man in the streets here. 
in New York City asking a simple question. Who do you prefer, Biden or Trump? Go. Who are you voting for in 2024? I mean, I never voted before, but hands down, Trump. I want Trump in office, feel me? I feel like he has a great mind. I feel like when he was in office, our country was, he was doing all right. It's not what it looks like right now. Yeah, what's the current state of our country right now? Open borders, more crime. His city, Trump is from New York. This city is it's a shithole right now. Let's be real. Let's be real with everybody. Yeah, what's it like living like here in New York? I don't know. You know how it is. New Yorkers, we're proud to be New Yorkers at the end of the day because there's no other city like this. No other city can compare or contrast to this. So to see the state that it's in right now is almost insane. Our own homeless population is on people my age, 22. I'm 22. I know I look older, but I'm 22. I see people my age on the street right now, and they can't get into shelters. It's ridiculous. Does that make you mad that... What's happening with Joe Biden as president? I think you could tell. It makes me mad. For the most part, you can see a difference between Trump and Biden. Black MAGA. Black MAGA, stand up. <laughs> stand up. Man, thank you guys for showing up. If you guys got any value out of my content, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends. And tell your mama I said hi. <laughs> all right, all right. Till next time, guys, I'll see you again. And all you pro Hamas knuckleheads, get off my lawn.